Hey, welcome to Creating Through Chaos. Today we're gonna make some spoon ornaments out of spoons you can find at Dollar General or the Dollar Tree. And I had one antique spoon I found at an antique store. First, you're gonna bend the handle, which is gonna make the hanger for your ornament. And it bends really easily. Next, you're gonna take a paper towel or something and make sure that the spoon is clean and doesn't have any fingerprints on it. Next, you're gonna take your white paint using a soft brush and apply one coat of white paint. Then I usually hang it on a cup to let it dry. The same thing with the silver spoon, same idea. Bend the handle and give it a nice one coat of white paint. And I hang that one on the cup until they dry also. Next you're gonna take the white again and put a second coat of white paint on. I'm just using dollar paint from Walmart, white paint, nothing special. I think it's Apple Barrel, actually it's 50 cents. Next you're gonna take the handle part of your paintbrush, dip it in black paint, and paint your snowman's eyes. And you can kind of move the paintbrush around in like a circular motion to make the eyes whatever size you want. Next, you're going to take a small paintbrush, a very thin one, and some orange paint, again 50 cents, and make yourself a carrot nose. And I just basically take it and kind of zigzag along until it looks like a carrot and I get it to the length that I want. I usually start bigger and then taper it off towards the end. Do the same technique for the mouth. Dip your paintbrush in the black paint, the end of your paintbrush in the black paint and make his mouth. I fix his eyes because I wasn't liking how that one looked. Next you take another thin paintbrush dip it in black paint very lightly and make his eyebrows. Once that's dry, I took a pencil that was sharpened really well and put two white dots in his eyes. Next, I cut a small piece of fabric out of a black and white plaid fabric that I had. And I tied it around the base of the spoon right above his head. Next, I took a really, really light pink and a Q-tip, dabbed off most of the paint, and in a circular motion, I made his rosy cheeks. Then I took the blow dryer and dried him. And then next, I took this stuff called glitter dust, and it's basically a clear or glamour dust. It's a clear sealer that's got glitter in it. You won't really be able to see the glitter, but I painted it over his entire face to seal the project and give him a shimmery look. I'm going to repeat the process for the silver spoon. Also using the back of a paintbrush to do two eyes. Thin liner to do two eyebrows. I think the eyebrows just give it character. Take the orange paint again. Oh, I'm sorry. Make his cheeks pink and rosy. Again, using the Q-tip. 
with the paint almost gone off of it very very lightly and do his mouth the same way that you did the eyes with the bottom of a paintbrush and next add his little carrot nose again zigzagging from wider to skinnier as you get to the point of the carrot I try to do each one semi-unique. They don't all have to look exactly the same. These make excellent gifts. Cute little ornaments. I made them for my entire family one year. Added little white dots in his eyes again. I have some buffalo check fabric. Cut a small strip of that. Tie it around. I double knotted it so that it was secure. And these are really convenient because they hang just off of their handles. You don't even have to put a hanger or anything on them. Super cute and super easy.